Today we are going to discuss about slowly changing dimension type 1. It is also known as SCD1. It basically supports incremental update or upsets. It is one of the most popular dimension table that is used throughout the data warehousing. In case of a new data, it is inserted. If the data is existing, it is updated. And this classification of insert and update is done based on the natural key of the dimension. This dimension only maintains current record. There is no history maintained for this type of dimension. So before we start discussing about SCD1, there are two things I need to discuss. The first one is surrogate key. Surrogate keys are generally the artificial key that we create. These are artificial key. This does not exist in real world. And does not have business value. No business value. Okay. And natural, these are unique. Okay. Same thing for natural key. These are unique to identify records. This has business value and exist in real world. So what, what is an example of surrogate key? So what happens usually is consider we have employees E001, E002. Okay. What we do in ideal case in data warehousing, we create one artificial key that we call as surrogate keys. Those, those in ideal terms that those can be sequential and those can be UUID or GUID as well. So usually if you understand this, so suppose this is an employee dimension and this is the employee ID. So E001 and E002 are the natural keys for this. And natural keys can be combination of attributes, uh, one or more attributes. And surrogate key can be 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and so on. And you can also use uh, GUIDs and UUIDs. In big data, we usually, in major cases, we can use UUID and UUIDs. But if you can use row number, sequential row numbers, those can be used. As we discussed about SCD1, there are few things. Only current data. And we do not have history, no history. Okay. And the important thing is new records are inserted. And if there's change for an existing record, that is updated. Existing records. We'll see this quickly with an example. Consider we have a customer dimension like this. We have data where we have surrogate keys. This is the surrogate key and we have customer ID C001 and C002 and we have customer name and address. For example, from your transactional system, there's a change. What is the change? Let's consider this is the change. Okay, we have a customer ID. So this surrogate key only exists in the data warehouse. It is not there in the transactional. When we populate the table, we generate this artificial key and we populate the data in dimensions. This is the most important thing about surrogate key. Uh, we have customer name and we have address. Now consider uh, for customer say C001 Shubham, the address is changed from Kolkata to Bangalore. Now, when we load this data into the dimension, what will happen is it will update the data. So this is our natural key. Okay. So based on natural key, it will update the data. So what will happen is after the data load, this will change to Bangalore. Now you can post more than one uh, changes in the column, right? Suppose if I change it to Shubham K, the data will change it to Shubham K. So this is one. Okay. Now, if there is no change in the data and you're still sending the data, the data will again be updated. Okay. So uh, in case in case of a new record, consider a new record is sent. C003 along with this, say Rakesh. And he is from Indore. So when the data loads, this will be changed to Bangalore. And there will be one more insert. C003, that would be Rakesh. And this would be Indore. Okay. So if you can see, uh, the data is inserted in case it's a new data and updated in case the data is existing. 
based on the natural key. Okay, so this is the main feature of SCD one. 